Hi everyone and welcome back to another video. In this short tutorial, I'm going to be showing you how you can make these animated graph sliders directly in PowerPoint. So let's jump into it. So the first thing we're going to do is go to new slide. We're going to start with a blank page and we're going to go to our shapes and we're going to choose rectangle rounded corners. And I'll just click anywhere here and then we'll drag this out. Make sure that the corners are fully rounded by dragging on the yellow handle. Now we'll right click and choose format shape. And if we go to this size and properties section here and do the drop down for size, we can see the height and width in here. And I'm gonna type 1.28 because that's the height I want for these. For the width, I'm gonna enter 20. And it's a good idea to do this to something that's rounded to 10, for example. And I'll show you why in a minute. So either 10 or 20 would be good. Now I'm just gonna center this and then make it the gray color. And I'm gonna make shape outline, no outline. So there's our first bar. And I'm gonna show you an easy way to make the first color fill. So if you click on this and hold down Control and Shift and drag, this is going to be our color, but I'm just going to separate it to make it easy to work with for now. I'm just going to fill it in. Something like this blue will be fine. And now, in this example, I'm going to be making three percentages, 70, 40 and 80. And as I mentioned before, it's a really good idea to do the width where it's rounded to a 10 because 70% would be 14, which is easy to work out. I'm now going to hold down shift and drag this back up. And you'll see the guidelines appear to show you that it's completely locked on. I'm now going to create the circle that goes on top. I'm going to make sure it's got the same shape fill and the same shape outline. And then I'm going to type 70%. And I'm going to make this pop-ins, bold, and 24. And then I'm going to make sure that this doesn't wrap by pressing format shape, going to the text box options, and turning off wrap text in shape. Excellent. We're getting close. I'm now going to drag this over the top. You'll see that when I'm halfway up, one of the guidelines will appear, and when I'm right on the halfway point of the end of the blue, the other guideline appears. So this is exactly where we want it. And now we can add the animation and then we'll create the other parts. So the first animation we need to do is this blue part. And we'll go to animations and we'll choose wipe. And then we'll go to effect options and choose from left. We can adjust the timing after we've moved this circle here. So the first thing we want to do with this is add animation line. Then we want to make it go the correct way. And then we want to choose reverse path direction from these options. Pretty close. Now we just need to click on this green triangle, it turns into a red dot. Then you hold down shift and we can drag this to its start position. So if we play this, you'll see that it will start there and this will wipe up and then it will move. So we're pretty close. We just need to make a few tiny adjustments in the animation pane. So firstly, we'll click on this and say we want it to happen with the previous thing. But we also need to add a fade, otherwise it will appear to start with. So if we go to add animation, fade, we then want to say the fade is with previous and we want to make sure that the effect of wiping this from left to right is the same as this moving from left to right. So the time needs to match. We'll drag this down to here and this here is the motion path to move it from the left and this takes two seconds. And this only takes half a second. So now we just have to get the duration of both of the animations about the same. 
I'm going to make the rounded rectangle, wiping from left to right, a little bit slower, say 1.5 seconds, and let's see how that looks. Just going to turn off the smooth end and start in the effect settings of the motion path. Really good. Now we're just going to create the other ones, which we can do by copying this and making a few changes. It should be a nice, simple way. Now you've done the complicated stuff, you can reuse this effect as needed. So I'm going to create two more bars, one with 40 and one with 80% on it. So I'm just going to select everything here. I'm going to press Ctrl and Shift as I drag it down. And this is going to be my second bar, which is going to be 40%. And we're going to make this green. Nice simple colour to make it easy. I'm going to make this green. We just need to change the width of this. And we do that as we did before by clicking on Format Shape, going to Size and Position. And now we'll type in what 40% of 20 would be, which is 8. There we go. Nice and easy to get an exact position. And now we'll hold down shift as we drag this and you can see that the guide will come up in the right place. Excellent. Now we need to make this happen a little bit quicker because it's only going up to 40% in comparison with 70%. So I'm going to click on this. I'm going to go to animations and I'm going to make sure that this is on one second. And the motion path, I think about 0.75 might do. So we now just have to drag the start point of the motion path and we'll hit play. Excellent. Just the final one to go. So we'll select all of them, shift and control again. This one's going to be 80%. I'll just set it to a different color. As before, we'll click Format Shape and choose the width, which for 80% would be 16 centimeters. Then we'll drag this and hold Shift. It will snap at the right position. And this, because it's a slightly higher number, would need a slightly longer time in the animation. So again, we'll go to Animations, Animation Pane, and I'm gonna choose 1.75 for the duration here. and 1.5 for the duration on the motion path. One final thing to do there, we just need to drag the beginning position of the motion path right over to this side. So there we go, 70%, 40% and 80%. Some really great looking animated graph sliders that you can use in any presentation and we've done the complicated work and if you ever need to use these you can just copy them out from the first version you did and easily change the colors and the numbers. I hope you enjoyed this video and I'll see you in the next one.